Hi, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I want to really quickly go over some of my favorites for the preschool age. These are the ones I recommend starting with if you have no idea where to start with Usborne. Um, this one is Nibbles the Book Monster. And also to give you a warning, my cat is playing with some cardboard boxes and tape and stuff. So I'm sorry if he suddenly makes a lot of noises. Um, anyway, so this is Nibbles the Book Monster. And it's about a little monster who is stuck in a cage because he is bad. He eats everything and he eats books, okay? But he escapes. And so now you gotta go through and find him and he keeps getting into books within books. And um, it's a, just adorable, like, and don't be deterred by, on this website it says it's for six plus. Um, that is because the storyline has some details and then like the illustrations that just won't be appreciated until the reader is a little bit older. But I read this to the preschool class yesterday for Read Across America Week, and they were four-year-olds and three-year-olds, and they would not stay on their bottoms. They were so excited about this book. They were um, laughing and yelling. They just really got into it. At the end, you catch him, and you're all excited, but oh no, guys, he got out again. Um, so yes, it's just a really exciting look at um, books. And then one of our bestsellers, Actually, my bestseller is All Better, and it's finally back in stock. It's been out of stock for a while because it's so popular. Um, so it comes with these reusable bandages, and then it's the pattern. It's, oh, no, dog wasn't looking where he was going. Ouch. And you watch your baby clean it, um, kiss it, mwah, put a bandage on it, all better. And every page is that same way, and they can put the little stickers on there. And then when they're done, they can match the stickers back. So it's great for fine motor skill development interactive fun I mean they'll want to take this everywhere great birthday gift um, you choose is one of my favorites for kind of when you're in the mood to kind of bond with your child and make it more of an activity versus just reading a story um, it's interactive it's question questions and um, dialogue building vocab building um, as well as taking turns and sharing because we have a rule um, we ask this question and then you take turns who gets to go first and whoever picks something no one else can pick Okay, I'm sorry, my cat is really loud. <laughs> um, if no one else can pick that, you have to um, pick something else. And it's interesting to see, sometimes they pick the same things as they did the last time you read it. Um, but I mean, just check this out, all these little details. It's something new every time. My son is infatuated with eating this dirty, nasty stew. Um, what would you wear? What would you do for your pet? It's just such a great book, and there's one that's very similar called Just Imagine that's a little bit more abstract and open-ended for the older reader. Um, there's a Mouse About the House is one of our most loved books, as you'll see. And I want to be completely honest with you, just because a book has a little bit of wear and tear on it doesn't lose anything with the book. And with Usborne, we do replace book damaged books um, for half off. So if no matter what the reason is for it being damaged, we can replace it. I tell you this because my child plays with this so much, he plays almost like a house with it. Like it's not even just reading it. He makes the mouse do different things. Um, and he goes through these holes so much that yes, over time, because we've had this for a while, it can get a little tear on it. It does not phase us in the least. We continue on loving this book. Um, so just know like, when that happens, we can replace it if that's something that bothers you. I've also taken it to some book fairs, so it's just been so used. Um, but it's just such a fun way. So this mouse follows the, the path around the house, in and out of all the little slots. He's looking for food the whole time. Um, but there is a squirrel's tail that is just the same. It's the same concept, but he's looking for nuts. And um, we... We love that one just as much, but right now, as I film this, that one is out of stock, okay? So, um, but one of them is usually in stock, and then if you lose this too, you can get it replaced really easily. Um, it's just $2.50, or on the back, they do have like a little tinselet that you can make your own. So, um, I definitely get that one for people when they have need a gift for birthdays and stuff. Um, Look Inside Your Body is the book that cemented my love for Usborne. Like, this is the one that said, that stood out to me so much that I, and it wasn't so much when I got it as so much when I watched my child with it and, like, realized he was learning at the age of three and a half all of these different things. And um, this is the page that really got him. It's what, what you eat and how where it goes, and he'll tell us at dinner sometimes what's happening to your food and where it is. Um, it makes sense to him. Um, it's done, it's written in a way that's easy for preschoolers to understand. Um, and then of course this is his favorite because 
Yep, he's my he's that kid that loves poop. <laughs> um, but it teaches about veins and lungs and oxygen and why we need muscles and why we need to eat healthy and bones and how you get sick and why we need to wash our hands. Um, it's just an amazing, amazingly interactive book for teaching the importance of body and all of our functions. Um, then lastly is the Illustrated Alphabet. It comes with a slip case, but I took it out first so I can save a little time. Um, this is a perfect book because I was looking for a book that talks about the sounds of letters and not just the letters itself. And this is it. This is it. It has alliteration. The foxes were furious if someone had forgotten to fill their feeder. Um, and then I make him tell me what, what words did I say that started with a f sound. Um, it's just so much fun. Great little storyline. Um, and then beautiful imagery. I mean, like this, this becomes like one of our favorite stories to read and that we don't even care that it's, um, we get really engrossed in it and it'll actually take a while because he just, there's so much to see. So yes, those are my favorite preschooler choices. Happy reading.